Uh, hello, brothers and sisters. Um, uh, my name is Sean Wooten and uh, living in Kiev, Ukraine, and just wanted to express my thankfulness for all of you, uh, for all the sacrifice over the last 18 years um, for the former Soviet Union so that um, the people living in these countries can have a chance to know Jesus and a chance to be saved. And um, I'm personally grateful for the church um, in Chicago and all that you've sacrificed over the years uh, to help the, the churches in Ukraine, especially in Kiev, which is where I'm living. Um, there's a scripture here that I think is appropriate. Um, it says, Be self-controlled and alert your enemy. The devil prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, standing firm in the faith, because you know that your brothers throughout the world are undergoing the same kind of sufferings. And I think of this scripture because um, this year hasn't been easy, um, as all of us know, but it's been a great opportunity to grow in our faith and to trust God more. I just wanted to give you a little glimpse into how things are going in the Ukraine. Um, the Ukraine has actually been the hardest hit economy in Europe um, since the, the different financial crises have hit globally. Um, almost eight times worse um, than the nearest economy. And uh, we've had a 40% uh, devaluation of the currency, um, as well as about 40% unemployment. Um, in the Kiev church, about every other person has lost their job or isn't getting paid for their job. And uh, it's interesting how that works because the Christians still go to work, even though they haven't been paid since December. And uh, they could, of course, quit, but there's, there's no other jobs available. And if they, if they quit and leave and stop working, then there's no chance that they'd get reimbursed for their salaries. And it's just ravaged um, the city, the country. Um, you know, the, the, there's, there's not a light at the end of the tunnel yet. Um, but on the other hand, this has opened up a lot of hearts. I um, mean, the first three months this year, we've had almost 57 people baptized and restored um, in the church. And the church is determined um, to bring God glory even through these hard times. Uh, one of the brothers who's actually a, was a pretty successful businessman um, was really trying to be successful and be a great example to convert his businessmen friends. And he thought by being more successful, he'd be more effective converting people. But uh, this crisis has um, actually humbled all of his colleagues, and now his colleagues want to come to church and study the Bible. So it turned out that this crisis was the best way to convert all of his friends. And, uh, you know, we never know what God's doing, for sure. But we know that he's working for the good of all of us. And uh, we just want you to know how much we appreciate you, and at the same time, how much we need you. Um, Last Sunday, we had the first go of collecting our special missions, and our goal is uh, ten times um, our normal contribution. And the Christian Christians, God bless them, are, are giving uh, not even from their salaries that they're collecting, but from their savings even when they don't have a job. And um, it's just very moving. Um, but on the other hand, uh, many of the Christians, uh, I'd say maybe 30% of the people that even own cars stop driving them because they can't afford gas anymore. And um, we're, we're collecting food and passing out to food pe to people who've lost their jobs that are having a hard time um, taking care of their family. So it's, it's built a lot of community and family, but it's just a hard time. And our first Sunday collecting special missions, we collected 20% of our goal. And, um, you know, we, we, we praise God and give thanks. Um, we're going to collect for five more weeks, and um, we're all praying and fasting that we're still going to hit the goal because... We really want the gospel to continue to spread. And we know that um, our current sufferings uh, won't even match the glory that will soon be revealed um, when more people become Christians. And, and we all know everything we possess today is going to pass away anyways. And uh, our salvation is the greatest thing we have. And I just respect you so much and thank you so much. And I know that um, um, there's times when we give out of our abundance and there's times when we give when we don't have much of anything. And I realize that this is one of those years. Um, that any sacrifice won't be out of abundance, it'll be out of a, a deep conviction. And um, I know if, if it wasn't for Jesus, I wouldn't even think about sacrificing. And if I can just look to his example when he's on the cross and what he was willing to give up to see the church advance and for more souls to be saved, um, I just pray that all of us with joy can imitate that heart. And um, once again, you're, you're in the prayers. There's, there's thousands of Ukrainians praying in a language neither of us would understand but they're praying for you and for God to work through you and uh, so that we can reach out to 
uh, the rest of the country. So thank you for uh, this chance to share with you. I really appreciate you and your faith and your life. And um, we're, very, we're very lucky to have uh, this partnership, to have you as our older brothers and sisters in the Lord and, and helping us out and protecting us and defending us and, and looking out for us. Thank you.